Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to talk about the latest song from SA, songwriter Dr. Malinga. Now, before we dive into this, I just have to say that this song is trash. I'm sorry, yes, you had me right. Trash, trash, trash. The song is called Asilali and is Dr. Malinga's latest single for year 2023. Now, I have to admit, the beats are infectious and the production quality is pretty good. But let's just be honest here. Catchy Beats can save a bad song. And that's exactly what Asilale is. Now, <laughs> I'm, you gotta hate me for this. Now, I understand that music is subjective and everyone has their own opinion. So, if you happen to like this song, that's totally fine. But in my personal opinion, this song is false flat. The lyrics are forgettable and the melody is just plain boring. There is really nothing special about it that sets it apart from the countless other songs out there. You know what I mean? Uh, but let's just talk about the collaboration on this track. Dr. Malinga teamed up with some industry superstars like Shebeshit, Seven Step, Lebs and Fana, Nakwa, and uh, First Lady K. Now I have to give you credit where it is due. Each artist brings their own unique style and every and, and and the energy to the song the individual talents shine through and it's impressive to see you know what i mean um to see um such diverse group of artists collaborate however even their combined efforts couldn't save them <laughs> now i know some of you might be thinking why are you being so negative well as a music fan, I think it's important to save, um, you know, to, to have the honest discussion, to save these honest discussions about the songs we listen to. Not every song is going to be a hit. And it's just okay to have, you know, a different opinion. That being said, I encourage you to listen to Asila Ali for yourself and form your own opinion. The music is subjective. And what I consider trash might be someone else's favorite song. So if you are curious, go ahead and give it a try. Go listen to it. But let me just be clear here. Just because I think this song is trash doesn't mean I have anything against, you know, Dr. Malinga or collaborating with uh, Sheba Shits. They are, without no doubt, we know that they're very talented individuals who have there created the music in the past. This song particularly, it just didn't hit good for me it just didn't hit the mark for me so whether you agree with me or not i hope you enjoyed this video and you know my honest take on it as you know um if i came out wrong or if i came out too harsh with my opinions i apologize while i personally might not connect with asilali i know that the music is subjective and what resonates with one person might not resonate with one another. You know what I'm saying? With another person. We have, you know. I don't, I just don't understand the whole thing. Yeah, Dr. Malinga. It's just so cringe. I'm sorry, but it's just cringe. I don't want to see Dr. Malinga looking 50, still acting a punk. I don't, I don't want, I don't want to see that. Like, I know you're trying to feed your kids. I know you're trying to have all of that. You know, the collaboration is perfect. You know, it's a very great opportunity for the artists to showcase their skills and create something that's really new and unique. But uh, I, it just didn't sit with me. I, I just, I, it just, I, it, it didn't sit with me. Honestly, I'm not, I'm not going to lie to you here and, and think, yeah. Maybe the part Yasha was sharing, you know, where he was coming in, you know, doing that weird rap that he does. Maybe that. Maybe that's the most probably catchy part. And the lady, I just listen. I didn't. I didn't get it. I didn't get. It, it was whole cringe for me. It was. It was cringe, and it hasn't even. I think it's about like 80, 80 almost hundred, hundred. It's been three days now by releasing it, and then. About this video, I think, and it has about 100,000 streams. I don't think it's doing well. I, I really don't. Considering the fact that he has the most, the hardest artist to do more here or not. I just don't know. It, it, it was just... 
Can you just leave the Amatiano? I'm sorry, people. <laughs> I'm sorry. Dr. Malinga would have to leave the Ama Piano music or whatever music that he's trying to do. Leave it to the, the youngsters at this point. You know, find a different field. Maybe be a producer. Go help other artists, you know, develop the music. It's just like, no, it's, it's wrong. It's wrong. How, like, you're just not going to be acting as punk and be stupid like this. You know what I mean? It just doesn't, like, I don't want to disrespect you or anything. Like, I, I really like you as a human. I like you as a person. The music that you did in the past. What the hell? No. Okay. So, um, uh, I don't know. I just pressed the wrong button. But uh, all I was saying is the music that you did in the past was perfect, was good. You know, people enjoyed Dr. Malinga, you know. Chris Brown is actually doing your thing. Y'all, y'all remember the sensational thing where it starts sensational with the leg up. Sensational. Hey, uh, 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 uh. That's Dr. Malinga. Dr. Malinga started that. If you really want to talk about it, I mean, he started that. You know? <laughs> Dr. Malinga, can I'm try to get a little sensational. Then see if you really want to talk about it. You know what I mean? But... Th- those days are gone. We don't want to see that no more, Dr. Malinga. We really don't want to see that no more. We just want to see you, you know, uh, you just you just came out of the uh, uh, financial struggle. You just came out of a lot of things that happened with you. Right now, we really don't want to see this. We, we, we don't want to see this, you know. Come up with something or don't try to be so youthful. I mean, if you make music, that's fine. Make music, but don't try to be 18. Don't try to be 19, you know. You almost 50. Just be like, be be who you are and do the music for people, for for, for you, for your people. You know what I mean? I don't I, no. It's just cringe to me. I just it just it just doesn't sit well. It really did not sit well with me. I feel like um you know, I don't know. I don't know if you have a younger audience or you have what, you know, maybe you have a young audience, but I, I'm not part of that. I really am not part of that at this point. Go do filming. Go focus on production. Do something executive producing. This should be your lane right now. I'm not even gonna lie. You know, the vis- the, the the visuals were really good on the video. The visuals are perfect. You know, the choreography, the visuals, and all of that, it, 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 they were perfect. But it's just you standing there wearing some pink shorts, dancing. It, it just didn't sit right. It doesn't sit well. It doesn't sit well, you know. And and, and I know that you guys understand what I'm trying to say. You 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 get it. You get it. But okay. So <laughs> please don't hate me for this. This is just my opinion. But yeah, just go ahead and hit subscribe, hit the like, hit the share, and make sure you hit the notification bell when I return with another video. You will get notified. You're not gonna miss out on any updates exclusive entertainment updates that i put out every single day it's a hot weekend i am here with exclusive news all right i will see you guys with another video next time peace out